Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day and today we're going to do a makeup unboxing. You guys know I love doing these. I just love the mystery aspect of a like subscription box. So today we're going to do the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus versus the regular Ipsy Glam Bag. Also versus BoxyCharm because I just have the base box to unbox for BoxyCharm today. I figured we could lump it all into one. So we have two Ipsies, one BoxyCharm. We're going to do them all today. And I'm going to tell you what I think is the best. And honestly, I've had a rough week. If you guys see my previous video, it, you know, it hasn't really gotten that much better since I last saw y'all. So I'm probably going to be a little bit harsh on these boxes today, but that's okay. Because you know what? When you spend your hard earned money on something, it is okay to be a little critical of it. So, yeah, and maybe this month will be good. Last month was pretty good. I feel like the month before was better, but let's see what would July boxes have in store for us today. Two quick things I do want to know before we get started. One, I am gifted these things in exchange for unboxing them. I do also pay for my subscriptions because I like makeup. You know, I just, makeup is the whole reason we do subscription box unboxings, you guys. I love makeup. I have my own subscriptions. And then also, I do have a small business, theopencrypt.com. Spooky season around the corner. You can see the stores are starting to put out small little bits of Halloween. And if you like that and that gives you all the serotonin, maybe you'd like my small business that is spooky and cute all year long. TheOpenCrypt.com. I'll leave a link down below. Let's start off with the BoxyCharm first. Because I don't know, I feel like we just did Ipsies. I know we just did them both last month. But for some reason, whatever was in the BoxyCharm last month is just like blank for my mind. So we're going to start off with the BoxyCharm today. Now, this month's theme is status 000, status 000, and here is what the inside is. I will also let you know the retail prices of everything that we have in here today. So let's start off with something from Kate Somerville, which is this indigo kind of box. We've gotten a Kate Somerville goat milk cleanser in here before. So this is the, ooh, another goat milk product. I love goat milk stuff. This is a moisturizing cream, condition and restore moisturizing cream this retails for 76 dollars i will be the judge of this i love goat milk stuff i have very sensitive skin i have two different skin conditions so stuff that's really easy or my skin like goat milk is always like a plus for me oh it's ooh, oh i opened the thing right it's very liquidy in here i'm gonna put a little bit on my hand i got it on my dress though because it's just super liquidy $76. Moisturizing cream. Sounds like it has a little bit of substance to it. This is very liquidy. I don't have a sense of smell right now, but I don't think it smells like anything. And then it's very slick, wet feeling. Um, so that's that. I mean, I'll have to be judged a bit on my face later, but $76 moisturizing cream is the first thing. Doesn't this remind you of the I Do Care logo right here? But it's not. Okay, so this is the first thing in here. Good retail value so far. Next up, let's do something from this phase zero. We've gotten something previously from them before. I can't remember what it was. So this says it is a necessities eyeshadow palette from phase zero. So phase zero eyeshadow palette retails for $40. The back of the packaging is very underwhelming, but let's see what kind of color scheme we got. Necessities just feels like nudes, which... I'm okay with nudes, warm nudes and stuff. Don't like this packaging. This, I don't like this packaging. It's very lightweight, it feels cheap. Nice color scheme in the palette though. Very nice neutral color scheme. However, it's just the packaging that just feels very, very cheap. Doesn't feel like a $40 palette, but this is the next thing in here. All right, next up, let's go with this pink thing right here. So these are some brushes from E. Louise. These brushes are very pretty. These are the luxury eyeshadow brush set. There's four brushes. It has like this crystally clear, but crystally color. There's like some light coloring on these handles. The only thing I don't like is that when brushes have like a neutral top to the bristles, like we have white bristles and they have like peach at the top. To me, and some of these like different tone bristles and stuff look cool, but when they're like white and then a nude kind of color, it just looks like you didn't wash your brushes to me. Like this kind of cream color on the tip of your brushes looks like they're dirty. I don't know why my mind goes to that, but I always assume my brushes are dirty when they look like that. But these retail for $22. These are very cute though, other than like my complaint about the handle. Next up, we have something from Dr. Lily Fawn. This is a probiotic X lash enhancer with 
patented peptides technology. I'm personally not someone who's into these lash enhancing things. I do wear fake ones all the time, but even then, like, I don't want to sit there and put stuff all over my lashes. I feel like my lashes would get tired if I constantly coated them in a serum and an extender and mascara all the time, you know? So this retails for $68, but I tell you it doesn't weigh anything. $68 retail price. Anyways, we'll just move on to the last thing here. <laughs> oh, it has a girl on it. It has a girl on the packaging. So this is by Beauty for Certain, BFC, Beauty for Certain. I don't know who she is. Her, her makeup looks good though, but this packaging with like the black and the, the bright neon yellow is pretty cute. And I like the girl in the front, she looks cute. So this is a whole lot of mascara, volume boosting, lash doubling, insta enhancing. I put my mascara just to go to the bodega and that's all I need to get a bold look that looks like, makes it look bang. Get a bold look that makes it bang. Okay, that's beauty for certain. I don't know who she is, uh, but this retails for $32. It's a very expensive mascara. The packaging on it is lovely though. I do like the bold packaging. I kind of need another mascara, so. Oh, it's just, let's see what kind of wand is on this one. Oh, it's kind of like a narrow, but fluffier end wand. So uh, time will tell if I like this mascara or not. But that is the last thing in the box that retails for $32. I do feel like for a mascara, that's pretty expensive. Well, let's go everything we got in the base box. So we have this Beauty for Certain Mascara, a Lash Enhancing Serum, some cute little makeup brushes from E. Louise. We have a expensive moisturizing goat milk cream from Kate Somerville, which I'm excited to try. And then we also have a Phase Zero Eyeshadow Palette. So I do feel like we got a lot of makeup. I feel like everything's kind of makeup besides the lash serum, the brushes, and the moisturizer. So we got three other makeup products. I feel like it's pretty good. I do like a palette. So I'm kind of biased by palette. I like mascaras. You know, I feel like brushes are makeup related. It's better than getting like another night cream sleeping mask serum. So I'm not disappointed by this whatsoever. Good job, BoxyCharm. I like eyeshadow palettes. I just wish this one didn't feel so cheap. But Anyways, let's move on to the Ipsy. Now we're going to start off with the mini bag and then we'll start going up to the glam bag plus. Okay, so in the mini bag for Ipsy, now the regular glam bag, here is our bag for the month. It has like a wave texture to it. It has a nice feel. It has a little starfish that says Ipsy on the underside of it. It's really cute, very summery. I like this theme. I think this bag is actually very pretty and that's the material feels nice. So let's see what we got in the mini bag. So we have something from MAC here. This is a MAC Stack Mascara Super Stack Brush. So it says Stack Mascara. I don't really know what that means, but we have a little mini, mini mascara from MAC here. I've never tried a MAC Mascara. Next up, we've had this before. I've had this a few times. This is the Gold Fatten MD Vital Boost Solution Even Skin Tone Daily Moisturizer with Vitamin D. We've had this before but it's just a little tiny serum sample-y situation from Gold Fatten and MD. Next up, we have something from Smashbox. It's pretty cute. This is the Smashbox Original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. This is famous. Everyone knows this primer. I feel like this is the thing I think of when I think of Smashbox. Like a picture of this primer comes into my mind when I think of Smashbox because it's just, there's so many different versions of it now. It's been around forever. Let's see how big of a sample you get in here because it seems bigger than normal. Oh yeah, that's a good amount of product right here. That's a pretty good amount of product. So something from Smashbox, good brands, good brands. We next up have a full size lip liner in the shade bronze. Oh, it's an eyeliner, I think. It's an eyeliner in the shade bronze from Prestige. So here is the eyeliner. I like this color. I think I'll actually use this color all the time and it's a full size product. I'm not familiar with Prestige, it says it's made in Germany, but the color bronze is very pretty. And then next up, we have something from Rowan. We've had this a few times. This is the Kiss My Liquid Lip Balm in the shade Charlie. So that's the kind of shade it is. Again, it's a full size product. I'm hoping this wasn't supposed to be in the Glam Bag Plus. Sometimes they're mixed up in the packaging since they are shipped together, but that's the color Charlie. It's a nice nude-ish warm color. Pretty. 
And let's go over everything we got in the little mini glam bag. We have a liquid lip balm in the shade Charlie from Rowan with a little MD vitamin D serum. A full-size bronze eyeliner, which is very cute. We have a mini of the MAC mascara and a mini primer from Smashbox. All in this really cute bag. So overall, little Ipsy glam bag. Super quick, super easy, but it's nice. And we got some makeup. Lip, liquid lip balm. Smashbox Primer, MAC Mascara, Eyeliner, not bad. Moving on now to the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is what we have going on. Um, I will just let you know the retail price of these things. I'll have to look them up. So I'll, pro I'll try to put them on the screen for you if I can. So let's, oh, before I can start talking about the products, let's talk about the bag. These bags are never as cute as the little mini glam bag. The little mini glam bag is $12 a month. If unless the price has changed, I don't think they did. $12 a month and then you get the cute bag and then I feel like I always get these little these little flimsy drawstring bags in the bigger bag but it is still a cute bag I feel like the bag isn't part of the value so it's just kind of like an extra but I like to think of things to do with all these bags that you get every single month and this month I'm leaning towards goggles and stuff for the beach you can put in here so you don't lose your goggles <laughs> this is my use I'm thinking of for today anyways First up is thing from Oshia, which is an expensive brand that I've used before. This is an ocean cleanser, with rich with minerals. Seaweed looks good on you, it says. So here is this from Oshia, little cleanser. It's cute, and I always hear good things about their ingredients as well. I think Oshia is kind of like clean beauty, fresh ingredient situation. Next thing is from Murad. This is a Murad Acne Control Oil and Pore Control Mattifier with broad spectrum SPF 45. 10 hours of oil shine and pore control. So if you have oily skin, maybe you could use something like this to mattify your skin. Or you could just blot your face like a normal person. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you don't want to, you don't want to ever get shiny. This is a good kind of product for it. It just seems... Uh, like a preventative kind of product. So here's this from Murad. We've gotten Murad a few times before. I've heard of Murad um, like a lot growing up, but I don't know if like they're specific what they're known for product. Next up is something from Avrani. There's two A's. Um, Holistic skincare rituals. So this is very pretty packaging. Look at the front of this. Isn't this cute? It's pretty cute packaging. It's very heavy too. This is very heavy. So this says it is a balance restoring serum with tea tree oil. I personally am not the fan of tea tree oil. I think it smells weird. It's a good ingredient. It has a lot of benefits to it, but I think tea tree oil smells funny. So here is the serum in here. It's just a little liquid in here in a nice glass container. Like it's very heavy, very pretty, very nice. It has tea tree oil, chamomile flowers, and cucumber extract in here. I bet this has a high retail value on it. I really do, but this is the next thing in here. Next up, we have something from Item Beauty. I'm not even gonna open this because this packaging is so weird. Like you have to tear the box away to get to your product. It's so strange. This is from Item Beauty. This is their Boost Juice Dual La Dual Ended Lash Primer Volumizer. So. I personally was not the biggest fan of their mascara. I know a lot of people love it. I thought it was okay at first and then it dried out very quickly on me. And then again, I don't like a lash primer. What does the lash primer do? Does it make your mascara stick on even better? Because I feel like you have a good mascara, it's gonna adhere to your lashes, lashes just fine. What does a lash serum do? Like a lash primer, I mean, sorry. I know a lash serum helps make your lashes longer and stronger and fuller, but a lash primer? Just put your mascara on. I don't know the point of it. Anyways, <laughs> it looks like we have one last thing in here. I know I kind of flew through these, um, but you know, I'm still under the weather, still trying to get better. And this is what I can do without overly exhausting myself recently. So this is from Wing Me. This is an eyeshadow palette. It's called Ambitious Violet. Ah! Oh! Look how cute, that is so cute. Okay, so Ambitious Violet. Oh, it is violet. There's actually purple in a violet theme palette. So here it is. Nudes, a little bit of a warm tone, and then some purples right here. This kind of shade is very pretty because it goes with the nudes 
the warm tone or the purples so i think this goes with everything this kind of color is really pretty i love that shade it's like a mauve i love a mauve so this is the last thing in here so the eyeshadow palette i think is really pretty should i test this and do like a look and like a get ready with me or something i think that'd be fun because it's a pretty cute palette but let's go over everything we got this month so we have an eyeshadow palette from wing me called ambitious violet we have a item beauty lash primer what again what do you do with a lash primer? What is it supposed to do? We have this Avrani Holistic Skin Care Serum, which is just like nice packaging on that. We have an Oshia Ocean Cleanser, which is cute and small. We also have a Murad Pore and Oil Control uh, Mattifying SPF situation, as well as the bag. So we did get a lot this month. However, I just feel like the mini bag was better for Ipsy for me because this was a lot of skincare. The Plus had a lot of skincare in it. I mean, we got an eyeshadow palette, so I'm pretty happy about that. that. I mean, I love eyeshadow palettes. But we did get a lot of skincare. Serum, cleanser, uh, oil control, SPF. I feel like that's just a lot of skincare for me. I want more makeup products. But anyways, I will leave this up to you now. What do you think was the best month? Honestly, BoxyCharm was kind of good. BoxyCharm was pretty good. And so was the mini bag. I just, I'm not feeling the plus bag, I think. I think it was just a little too much skincare. But let me know what you think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Have a great day.